Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Frenz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's another card using the Painted Harvest. This time we're gonna make the owl. This was inspired to me by um, Barb, one of my team members, I call her the beaver. So let's get started. So we're gonna start on the piece of Whisper White cardstock that measure three, seven, eight by five and one eight. So we're gonna bring that, and I'm gonna bring my foam here. And <clears throat> in the, the flower, we get two different sizes. We get the big one and the smaller one. Well, it's a, a two-step. We're gonna start with the big one. We're gonna use crushed curry, and we're gonna stamp off first. So stamp off and just go off your paper a little bit uh i want a little bit lower the other one was too high right there and then i'm going to come back here stamp off and right here so now i get this part done that's the first layer the second layer is going to be uh, the smaller flower and we're going to use soft suede and this one we're going to ink once stamp twice so here it is once lift it up turn around stamp again it looked dark don't worry as it dry it's going to dry lighter stamp once lift it up and twist it and stamp again here we go now for the center i decide to put the center yellow that's something i had it just tonight here we go i got oh yeah that it's going to be a um, full uh, strength i think it is is it let me check no stamp off also stamp off and stamp stamp off and stamp I think the yellow in the eyes add quite a bit now I'm gonna use the little piece for the acorn that it's part of this set here the bottom there and we're gonna stamp the center of his eyes in early espresso I'm wondering what would do if we stamp the eyes the other way you know what let's no I think it's better this way I'm gonna put one right there and one right there so now we get his eyes the next step it's to put its feather around that's what I call it and that we're gonna use crumb cake we get two set two size of I need my rag and we get two um, different leaves. Again, it's a two-step stamping. So I'm going to use the one that it's more detailed, the less bold one. And we're going to do that with crumb cake. So let's take this. And that we're going to go in all different directions. I'm going to start like right here. It's like it's feathers. You see, I just keep on adding a bit here and there. And we're going to put some green so it looks like he's in the tree. So now we're going to leave that this way. We're going to do his nose. And his nose, I'm using the leaf, the tree leaf, the bowl one, not the detail one, the bowl one. And I'm using tangerine tango. And I'm just going to tap this right here because I just want one. Make sure I don't have ink here. Okay, now we're going to bring this. I don't want that. I off on it just because I was playing around and I want to make sure it was still moist. Et voila, that's his little beak, no, nose, whatever you call it. Now let's take our um, old olive with the other uh, leaf 
not leaf, but it's kind of the fern, right? And that's more the full one. It's mold bowl. So now we're going to put that like he's in the, the forest or the tree, whatever. So I'm just going to mix this here, here and there. No right and wrong. I just... I want to put some on the side of him too. Here I'm just going to go on the side. And then we're going to do the other part. Oops, this I could add a little bit here. Here we go. This part now I'm going to go up here. Stamp off here a bit, add more. Here we go. So that's look pretty. It look kind of funky till it dry and it's uh, all in place. I'm going to use my early espresso and I'm going to stamp hello and the oops that's wood stamp. I don't need this anymore. That is from the stamp set hello friend. So I'm going to take this and I'm using early espresso because uh, it's very dark there and I won't see the hello. Et voila. The other one, let me show you, let me close that before I make a mess. The other one, what I stamp, I stamp Happy Halloween. And I think that was the perfect greeting for that. But I want to use some of those cards because they're so cute. Uh, other than Halloween. And that was the stamp set, the spooky, spooky, spooky cat. Here he is. This one right here. So that's from that stamp set there. So now let's mount that together. So this was um, 3, 7, 8 by 5 and 1, 8. That's the Whisper White that we stamp on. We're going to put that on Early Espresso that measure 5 and 1 quarter by 4. See, when you mount it out, it's just come to life, right? And then we're going to put that on Crumb Cake. That is eight and a half by five and a half, fold in two. And boom. Oops. Voila, my friend. See, now we got a howl. And I really like with the yellow in his eyes, I think it really popped that out. So it's whatever you prefer. Two, three, four. Here we go. We got a bunch of all there. This one here, I had done the yellow in the back and crumb cake. So that's the color. All the other one, it's the same color. It's uh, this one I had stamped a few times around. I think it was a bit too heavy. So um, soft suede and crushed curry, but uh, off once. This is it, my friend. Hope you enjoyed that. If you do, give me the thumbs up. And all the supplies going to be on my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. Or just above in the eye, you can click on uh, the eye and it's going to bring you to this blog post. And um, you can shop, <coughs> excuse me, shop 24-7 for any U.S. Uh, residents. Thank you so much and have a lovely day. Thank you for your support also. I appreciate it. Bye-bye for now.